Hello, my name is Matt Cameron. I'm going to show you how to cast silicone out of 3D printed molds. So first things first, we have our equipment, the stuff that we're going to need to cast. We have a mold release in which I've already sprayed my 3D printed molds. I have some tape to tape the molds. I have our silicone. This is the two-part silicone we're going to mix together. A syringe in order to inject this silicone into our molds. And then I have cups to mix the silicone, some uh, plastic sheets to not make too much of a mess, and some clamps. First thing we're going to do after spraying out the mold release is close the mold. As we can see, this is where we're going to be injecting the silicone, and this is where the silicone is going to be um, pumped out when the mold is full. This is a three-part mold. Again, we're just going to put it together. All right, and next thing is going to be to tape up these sides so the silicone doesn't seep through the edges. Now that the molds are taped, I'm going to apply the clamps, one to the top and one to the bottom. Again, this is just to hold the molds shut tightly. The next step is to mix the silicone. So we put a equal amount of both of the silicones, the directions for the specific type of silicones will be on the package. And we are going to mix them and then stir. So once you have an even mixture, you can fill up the syringe. And we're going to bring it over to the mold and inject it within. This was clearly a very messy process and could have been improved in a number of ways, including a bigger syringe, some clamps or fixtures to hold down our molds. But it's also one of the benefits of using 3D printed molds for silicone casting is it's very forgiving. So we've waited 30 minutes, which is the cure time. Maybe at this point, this is really not usable anymore. And uh, we're gonna open up our molds and, and see how it turns out. There's the silicone rocket engine. One benefit of doing 3D printed molds is that you can use these over and over again. So you can make hundreds of parts with your 3D printed mold and you can continuously change and update that mold. Thanks for watching.